My name is Dr. Nicole Gunter, and I am the Collections Manager of Invertebrate Zoology at the Cleveland Museum of Natural History. My interests are in beetle evolution and systematics. So my most recent research is on the evolution of scarab beetles and includes some very exciting findings of the evolution of dung beetles, which may include the first inference of evolution of an insect with dinosaurs. Scarab beetles are a very interesting uh, lineage to investigate evolutionary hypotheses because they can be easily divided into two main lineages. The first lineage is associated with plants and plant feeding and includes the dune bugs, the shiny leaf chafers, the flower chafers, and the rhinoceros beetles. The second lineage, they feed on detritus, so dead or decaying matter, including dung, and include the scarabane dung beetles and also the aphodian dung beetles. The most interesting findings were based on the dung beetle side of the paper. Uh, so dung beetles, there are over 5,000 described species and they're distributed across the entire globe, so on all continents except for Antarctica. Because they're so heavily associated with feeding on mammalian dung, it's been assumed in the past that they've evolved with mammals. If dung beetles evolved with mammals, it has been hypothesized that they originated in the Eocene approximately 34 million to 56 million years ago. Other scientists hypothesized that dung beetles must have evolved much earlier given the biogeographical distribution of dung beetles today. Our research provides the first molecular evidence supporting the older evolution of dung beetles and hypothesizes that they evolved approximately 115 to 130 million years ago in the lower Cretaceous. To examine scarab beetle diversification, we plotted the accumulation of species over time to examine correlations with known biological events. For example, in the plant feeding scarab lineage, we plot the accumulation and see that the first major diversification of species occurs approximately 110 to 90 million years ago, which corresponds with the ecological dominance of angiosperms, which are the flowering plants. A surprising finding was that dung beetles also started diversifying with the dominance of angiosperms. Given the evolutionary time frame of the diversification of dung beetles, we hypothesize that dung feeding must have evolved with dinosaurs in the middle of Cretaceous and not with mammals. Although mammals existed at this time, given that they were small and insectivorous, so feeding on insects, we believe that their dung was too small and dry for dung beetles to be able to feed on. Whereas there were many herbivorous dinosaurs in the Cretaceous, so we believe that the incorporation of angiosperm foliage into the diet of dinosaurs created the first palatable dung source for dung feeding in dung beetles. What is also cool is that there are known coprolites or fossilized dinosaur dung. These coprolites have tunneling that have been attributed to dung beetle feeding. Our results are in line with the age of these coprolite fossils, which are approximately 70 to 80 million years old, uh, suggesting that the older evolution of dung beetle feeding. The most significant finding from this publication is it changes our ideas about the evolution of dung beetles. Most significantly, it provides an alternative hypothesis to the origin of dung beetles uh, evolving with dinosaurs and not mammals. This is really interesting to consider because we know that at the end of the Cretaceous, non-avian dinosaurs suffered a mass extinction. So what does this mean for the diversification of dung beetles if they lost such an important evolutionary resource? Through examining the accumulation of dung beetles and also through comparison of the diversity of different scarab beetle lineages, we believe that there is evidence to support a possible extinction of dung beetles with dinosaurs at the end of the Cretaceous approximately 66 million years ago. However, this possible extinction event was not as significant for dung beetles as it was for non-avian dinosaurs, and we actually see the most rapid accumulation of dung beetle species immediately following the KPG extinction event 66 million years ago. 